By virtue of its association as a US brand, sentiment for Coca-Cola has become negative during Ramadan, especially in the past few years. We had to dispel the negativity around Coca-Cola. We wanted to not just protect, but grow brand health and volume in a period where year-on-year, -year, the brand has suffered a decline during Ramadan. Ramadan is a period of truthful reflection. We realized that authenticity in communication and relevance in proposition were critical. Machun is a well-known businesswoman and a leader for Malay moms. We then paired a long-running Coca-Cola PR program called 5x20, which enables women entrepreneurs with our partnership with Machun and used it to recruit real-life grassroots businesswomen. We turned them into micro-influencers by bringing them to various Bazaar Ramadan where they shared their stories of small businesses and also how they make their festive moments special with Coca-Cola, whether it is spending time with family or preparing Ramadan special dishes. We then deployed this content on Haryan Metro's Bazaar Tumpuan, which was a column bringing forth the best food at Bazaar Ramadan across Malaysia. What better place for moms to learn from other moms? The editors visited different Bazaar Ramadan across Malaysia to hunt for the best Ramadan stalls, many of which were operated by Coke ambassadors. For each of the 30 days of Ramadan, a fresh new story was featured in Bazaar Tumpuan, where stories from Coke ambassadors, Machun, and our grassroots women entrepreneur recruits shared how they made their Ramadan special. Malaysian moms gave us a thumbs up. There was no negative sentiment in this campaign compared to 13% in the previous year. Coke was able to grow volume by 19% versus the previous period, awareness by 2 points, and brand love by 3 points. Haryan Metro alone reached 2 out of 3 of our target audience with an ROI of 9. A truth hiding in plain sight had given us a sustainable advantage.